going on guys and girls? My name is James or thanks yeah and welcome back to Pixelmon. How are you all doing everyone? Are you good? Yes. Amazing. So yeah, welcome back to our world of Pixelmons. And uh, yeah, what am I doing here? Well, I've actually been going on a little bit of a boss finding mission. So what I was thinking was, because last episode we looked very briefly at the breeding process, I actually just double checked back on the breeding system, and my dittos are actually popping red hearts, which means they are very, very much in love. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. Um, so yeah, we're going to be checking back there in just a little bit to see if they have popped Anne and Babby. Uh, but yeah, I thought whilst we wait, we kind of, yeah, we should probably just do a little bit of boss searching. Now, the reason why is I am looking really, really hard to try and find a ranch upgrade. So the ranch upgrade basically goes on the ranch block, which is the breeding system, and it increases the size of the arena. Um... And yeah, what I'd actually really like to do at some point is I'd like to kind of make like a block it ranch type thing where we can look into maybe sort of breeding some more bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, I've been looking for bosses. So what I kind of, I don't know, like this seems to be a relatively good strategy. And this is kind of what I've been trying to implement here. But I remember that I was in this area one episode, a few episodes back, and there seemed to be loads and loads of boss Pokemon spawning whilst I was trying to look for a shelter. So I have caught a couple of new shelters uh, because I'm, <laughs> to be honest, I'm really looking for one with like a really big growth just because I, I quite fancy having a massive, massive um, cloister because I, I always kind of like that Pokemon. I don't know why. Uh, what the heck are you? Oh, you're one of those little parish zuzzles. I'm just going to call you a squirrel. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of looking around in this general area for stuff. I don't think we've ever been in this area. I don't know. What the heck are you? What are you? Oh, you're another one. This girl. Ah, oh, I, I saw your tail from behind. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Um, so yeah, I've been looking around. We've actually found a couple of boss Pokemon already in this sort of strategy. Nothing too special though. I think we found three greens, and uh, yeah, the items that I have got from those are uh, Max Ether, uh, Alexa, sorry, uh, a full heal. That one we had from last episode. Uh, I think we got a Max Revive, a Friend Ball, a Pokeball. Meh. But we also did pick up this Magnet here, which is a pretty cool item. And that actually boosts our uh, electric types if held by 1.2, I believe. So that's pretty cool if we do, you know, get an electric Pokemon Aww. in the party. But yeah. Oh, oh, I completely forgot as well. Yeah, whilst I was actually searching around here, I found a new little buddy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see it? Three, two, one, reveal! Da, da, da. Check that out! I found myself... Where are you going? I found myself a shiny Magikarp, which is uh, actually a shiny that both Dan and Justin uh, have. So I've actually got one now myself, which is really, really cool. And of course, it may look pretty feeble right now, but of course, it will evolve into a shiny Gyarados, which is definitely something we're going to do this episode. And then I believe also, if we want to, we can make it into a zombie version. Um, but I need to double check how to do that. I know Justin has one. Um, but yeah, we might be. I don't know if it will go shiny zombie though. I'm, I'm not really too sure about that. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely get a shiny Gyarados. So, ah, hello. Ah, speak of the devil. You can see this is kind of weird. Like, yeah, if you stay in one area for long enough, then bosses will start popping up, which is pretty sweet. Uh, let's, oh no, Bobby's fainted. Uh, let's give Chubber a little go. So that's another green though. Man, I'm popping serious greens at the moment. Always eat your greens. Come on, fight me. Fight me, you slimy. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, what can we do here? We can flame charge, uh, which is pretty weak. Let's, let's, actually, heat wave is a beast of a move. Check that out. Wowzers, that is powerful. Um, so, yeah, finish that off. Three, two, one, and... Oh, Max Potion. That's disappointing. The cool thing, though, by the way, is that the potions now work in this sort of version, where previously in the 1.6.4 that we were playing, like, the potions and stuff didn't really work. Um, so they do work in this one, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, I completely forgot. Oh, yeah, by the way, in case you're wondering, Justin is Think Noodles. Um... I call him Justin because we're buddies, but uh, I remember a while ago, I actually left a comment on, he, he posted this really cool Halloween video. Oh, there's another one. You see what I mean? This is crazy. But he posted a really cool Halloween video and, um, oh, it's a blue. Nice, 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 nice. I wonder out of interest, out of absolute sheer science here, how much will a heat wave do on a core fish? That's actually really good for like, for that kind of level difference and for f sort of a fire move against water. That's pretty beastly. Come on, good items. Ow! Actually, Thunderstone's all right. I'll take the Thunderstone. But yeah, I posted it, and I was like, oh, Justin, that's an awesome video, because I was actually in it. I was one of the guest, um, the guest, like, stars in it. I did a voiceover and stuff for it. Uh, and everyone was like, oh, that's his real name. 
And I was like, wait a second, do people not know that? So yeah, when I say Justin, I mean Think Noodles. Um, and of course, Dan is Dan from the Diamond Minecart. Uh, <laughs> that's a terrible impression. Uh, I'm going to try that again. <clears throat> hey, everyone, it's Dan here from the Diamond Minecart. That's actually a bit better. I like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we are popping bosses like it's hot around here. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about maybe trying to find a couple more of them. If possible, I'll jump cut back to them if I find anything cool. And then hopefully we'll go and check those dittos and see what's going on. And I also do want to evolve that Gyarados. So, uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me have a little look-see. And I'll meet you guys back in a second. Okay, so welcome back. Yeah, my search for buses went horribly. Uh, I couldn't find a sausage, not a sausage. Which is a little bit weird because I was popping buses like they were hot a second ago. Uh, which is a little bit weird. But I have searched around here for a while. Unfortunately, I think our luck may have run out. But no big deal. Uh, we're actually going to go and check on Ditto and Ditto in just a sec. It has been quite a while and they were popping red hearts. So... That means that they should probably have made a babby by now, which is kind of cool. But I thought just before we do that, what we'll do is we'll actually go and evolve ourselves um, our shiny Magikarp just to see what the shiny Gyarados looks like. I think it actually looks pretty damn awesome. So we're going to go and check that out. Let's move away from this area now. We've been here too long. Dun, dun, dun. So I've stopped my XP share on the old Magikarp. And, uh, yeah, let's go and just see what we can battle. I'm going to go and battle something in the extreme hills because there's fat stacks of XP available there. Let's get... Uh, who should we battle with? Uh, let's get Salamence out. Why not? Um, so let's go and see what we can find here. Dun -dun -dun. Wouldn't mind a nice golden boss right now, not going to lie. I think that's probably the best chance of getting ourselves A, some more Master Balls because we only have one left. Um, and B... We could also do with that ranch upgrade. That would be pretty sweet. So I'm thinking the golden ones are probably my best chance of getting them. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure as to how the drop system works with bosses. So, you know, obviously the lower the boss, the slightly worse the items get or the fewer you get. To be honest, I've never really had amazing drops from, from green bosses and stuff. But um, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Uh, should we fight you? Nick? No. Okay, you want to run away? Fair enough. Uh, we need something to battle. What's down here? There might be something down here. Let's have a look. We've got some sheeps. we got some far-fetched, I think. Yeah, we've got some far-fetched. We've got an Arbok. 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 <laughs> uh, I think we should probably fight the Arbok. Unless it's fighting. It's, oh, it's fighting with some... Oh, stop fighting with things, man. I don't know, man. Sometimes, sometimes I think it's just me and you and Ronald and everyone else is just fighting against each other. Yeah. Oh, we can fight it. Okay, let's fight it. Uh, let's just, let's just crunch it. Boom, he dead. Magikarp is going to level 12. Magikarp is going to level 13. Uh, we could probably do something a little bit higher level than that, though, to be honest. Um, Extreme Hills is always good, though, because it does have some pretty decent Pixelmons in. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's jump back up here. Let's jump back up here and see what we can do. Can we get up here? Hardcore parkour. There we go. There we go. All right. So let's have a little look around here. See what we can find. I immediately see a Hitmonlee, which could be good. Level is 34. That'll do. Uh, let's just hit it with a crunch. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we used to be honest. We're going to kill it anyway. Level 15. Uh, Starlet. Okay, fine. Uh, heavy slam. That's so overkilly, but you know, oh, I don't want raw chicken, man. We trying to do poison me, man. Okay, uh, let's see what else we can find here. So, I wouldn't mind some more Sableyes. We're getting a nice collection of diamonds coming up here. Uh, I think we've got... Oh, gravel is always good. I think we've got, like, nine in our actual inventory. And so that we might actually be able to put a new block in... Uh, what's it called? In the, in the vault. So that might be quite cool. Graveler fainted, level 16. Uh, what level is Mr. Onyx here? Mr. Onyx, I choose you to die. Fight. Oh, there's the hitbox. Oh, level 45. Nice, nice. Let's just hit it with an incinerate. This, that move is useless against Onyx. That move is slightly better. Let's see which one's probably the best. Uh, you know what? Crunch is probably fine. Let's just crunch it out. We've got the most PP with Crunch, so I think we've got the most PP with Crunch anyway. But yeah, at these, at these slightly lower levels, I don't really, you know, it's it's fine just to use just any old move, I think. Um at the moment. When I'm grinding, I tend to just use the thing that has the most PP, um, but yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. 
Uh, how many more do we need here? Probably not too many. Uh, what level are you? Let's kill some Gravelers. Yeah, these Gravelers are amazing when I was leveling up uh, Bobby, because they're just like one-hit kills with um, a Bubble Beam. I think it's Bubble Beam we've got on Bobby. Uh, but I still haven't learned Crab Hammer, and I'm excited to learn Crab Hammer, because it just sounds like a cool move. Level 19. Oh, I can't be far off now, can it? Oh, I was just about to fight you, and you flew up in the air. What a sausage. Uh, let's get this Onyx. That'll do nicely. Do, do, do. Its hitbox is like in the middle of it, so it's kind of weird to get it. Where is your hitbox? Come back! Oh, that's a terrible throw. Right in the middle there somewhere. There we go. Level 37. Let's just cr 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 crunch it out. I'll crunch it out. I'll uh, uh, crunch it out. Uh, 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 uh. Our magic cup is evolving into the all powerful Gyarados. This is probably going to look really cool. I've seen Dan's one, I think. Uh, he got his magic arp, his shiny magic arp, in episode one, would you believe? Which was amazing. Uh, but yeah, wow. Grow, you beast. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Check that out. So this is our shiny Gyarados. Boom. Check that thing out, man. That is so awesome. I would have loved it if it was, like, golden. Like the magic art, but the red is pretty sweet, I've got to say. Look at that beast. Nice! In case you're wondering what the actual sort of like, um, sort of, you know, what it's like, it is a naughty nature, which gives it an attack boost, which is probably a bit of a beast actually. Special defense um, goes, oh, in case you're wondering who that is, it's one of the guys that is with, um, with Justin, because he uh, is in contact with, he basically runs owns the server kind of and he's one of the guys who are helping us with the update just in case you're wondering who that was in the corner uh, but yeah that's uh gyarados naughty nature ordinary growth so that is pretty damn sweet i've got to say i like that a lot i like that a lot and there's some sable eyes oh there's a boss as well oh could this day get any better come on geo dude just 1v1 me bro come on not with the gyarados though I'm no not with the gyarados Gyarados, come back. Ah, oh, it's with the Gyarados now. You know what? Fine. Jeremy. Oh, we got Jeremy out. Sweet. Let's hit it with a, uh, a fighting move there. Bang. That's powerful. Hammer arm. Uh, your inventory is full. TM48. Oh, that's all I got. TM48 and a sunstone. Wow. I'm not even going to pick you up. I am insulted. Yeah, we could really do with cleaning our inventory before we look for any more. But yeah, let's go and check. Uh, take a look at these guys. Uh, oh, they've gone back. To oh, yes. Okay, so they've gone back to the Grey Hearts, which I believe means if we right click them, it says something, doesn't it? Ditto's love for Ditto grows rapidly every day. Ah, oh, so they're trying to pop another baby. But look, we've actually got ourselves our first egg. Yay. Boom. Party is full. Inventory egg sent to your computer. Nice. So we've got ourselves our first random egg, which I we should probably stick it in our party and hatch it as soon as we can. So let's... um. Let's go up to block HQ. We could do with a little bit of depositing going on here. Oh, it works like a dream. I never doubted you, elevator lift of death. <laughs> Man, all my elevators are so dangerous. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's uh, deposit some of these things that we're not really going to need just at the moment. So we've got some revives and bits and pieces uh, that we... I don't really use them. They, they do work, though, so some of them are actually really useful, especially the potions if you're sort of on a big grindy session, but I don't really need them at the moment. These are our Pokeballs. Let's stick a few of these in here. We've got I mean, we've got 36 Ultra Balls left. We have got some different ones just in case, uh, but we've got a fair amount in there already, so that's pretty good. Let's run over here. Let's go and deposit our hammers. That's not where the hammers live. This is where the hammers live. Do, 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 do. And then we need to go and deposit our little shinies. So let's go and stick those in here. Bloop. And yeah, that's our only Master Ball. As soon as that um, Lugia update comes onto the server, I'm going to crack that bad boy open. Just in case, because you never know. Uh, let's stick our Magnet in here for now. Because we're not going to need that just yet. I think I have some more Magmarizers. Yes, I do. Uh, I've got some berries here as well, which are cool. That's a carrot. I don't know why I'm carrying that around. I don't know why I'm carrying that around. <laughs> Uh, we've got a couple of smoke balls as well. Have we got any more of those? No, we don't. Uh, okay, let's put the smoke balls in here. Bloop, there we go. Nice. So, yeah, let's go and grab ourselves our um, thingamajig. What's it called? Our egg. Yeah, let's go and grab our egg. Who do we want to get rid of, though? Oh, it's this old this old dilemma, isn't it? Um, 
I don't know. I feel Salamence has been enough, but then again, Salamence is what I used to fly around. Um, you know what? I think we'll put Gyarados away for now. I know we've just got him, but I think that if we we might come back to him at some point. You know, he is he is in need of a grinding. Oh God, what am I doing? Gyarados, no! And it's snowy. Let's put you out here so you won't die. Where are you, Gyarados? What the heck? Oh, there you are. Hey, so that's Gyarados, the shiny Gyarados. For some reason, he's glitched in the clouds. Very, very awesome, though. Uh, so let's go and stick him away for now. And let's go and grab ourselves our egg. I'm really curious to see what this is going to be. It could be pretty much anything. Um, so all we need to do is... My picture! <gasps> no! Gyarados! <laughs> oh! Gyarados basically popped himself through the wall and destroyed my Moltres picture. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. You are a troll. And I can't remember which block it went on. I think it was the middle one, wasn't it? Was it that one? Oh, for God's sake, man. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to wander around. Yeah, yeah there we go. Nice. I'm going to go wander around. I'm actually going to go and look for some more boss Pokemon. And uh, hopefully, by the time we should have maybe found one or two, then this dude will be ready to hatch. Oh, God. I nearly went so wrong. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of running. Ah, oh, it's wet. And, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back in a second. Ah, oh, look what I've spotted. Mr. Think Noodles is doing a little project of his own, and he's got a bit mad with the wool. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just spotted it outside his base here, so um, yeah, he seems to be doing a bit of breeding himself. Oh, nice. I wonder if he's... Oh, no, what he's breeding. Hmm. We'll have to find out, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd just show you that, uh, that Justin is indeed breeding as well. What a sneaky little sausage. Uh, yeah, I'm going to steal all this. Oh, God. No. no one saw anything. Ah, oh, yeah, a golden Pidgeotto just flying past my base, level 114. This is the one I've been looking for for a long time. Fingers crossed for this one. I do have Bobby out, though, so we might be a little bit stuck here. Um... But yeah, <laughs> but at least we've got some we got some big boys in the pie, so we'll just chip away at this with just a bubble beam. I don't really expect Bobby to be staying alive for very long, and it's dead. Um, but okay, we did all right. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's, who should, we, who should we get into battle? Let's get Chubber out, and let's hit it with a heat wave. That, that move is beastly. Wow, Chubber is a, a monster. Heat wave is so powerful. Oh my goodness. Okay, and let's hit it finally with. Let's just uh, let's just hit it with another one. Let's be safe, and it's dead. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um. Here we're gonna finish off. Let's finish off with Groudon. Yeah. Uh. Let's hit it with a uh, Earth Power. Boom. And it's no effect. What a silly thing to do. Let's hit it with a Brick Break. There we go. All right. Fingers crossed. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. So Mystic Water. Never heard of that before. I'm going to have to double check what that is. Uh, burn heal, luxury ball, and a flame orb. I don't know what a flame orb is either. Okay, so we've got two brand new items here. We've got ourselves Mystic Water and Flame Orb. Nice. No, obviously no ranch upgrade just yet, but hey, you know what? A Golden Pidgeotto, I will take that any day. And look what I found when I was checking. So I came over to these guys, and, you know, they've got some purple hearts now. They're very much in love. Wow. And then look at this. I've got a spy. It's Copimon. This is this is Thick Noodle's dog. What is he doing spying? What are you doing? Hmm? You answer to me. Shall I pet you? Actually, I don't want to hate you. There you go. Oh god! No! 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to pet you. Let me let me pretend to pet you. There we go. There we go. And that better. What are you doing? You're spying on my dittos, aren't you? You're trying to. You're trying to. I think. I think he's trying to spy on what what our breeding process is going on here. Hmm. I shall have words with Justin about you. I like you though. For a little dog. I'm sorry for hitting you. I didn't mean to. I meant to pat you. I feel bad now. Um, so yeah, we just picked up two brand new items, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we got ourselves this Mystic Water and uh, Flame Orb, which is kind of cool. So at the moment, I don't know what those do. Uh, let me actually let me actually look at that very quickly. If you, if you indulge me here one second, we're going to go Mystic Water Pixelmon. So the Mystic Water is a mystic is a held item that increases the power of uh, water type moves by 20 percent okay that's cool and then the flame orb flame orb uh is uh a flame orb is a held item that burns the holder at the end of 
a what? End of turn if the holder is in battle. A flame orb is a held item that burns the holder at the end of a turn if the holder is in battle. It can be... What? I'm very confused by that. Oh god, there's another boss up there! It's a red one! Oh, how are we gonna get you? Oh, you're really high up as well. Oh, this old dilemma, eh? Um, right, I'm gonna track you until you go lower. Come on, buddy. I don't think we're gonna be able to get up there, though. How are we gonna fight you? Hmm, is it coming lower? I think it might be going lower. Give me a sec here. I'm gonna track this guy. <laughs> I'm literally following this guy. I'm really hoping that he's gonna go near these rocks and that's where I'm gonna be able to attack him. So let's go, 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 go. Salamence, behave yourself. Oh no, come on, dude, 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 we can do this, we can do this. No, don't fly away, don't fly away, don't fly away, don't fly away. Destiny shot, please, no, destiny shot. Come on, no. <laughs> Pidgeotto, come back. I'm gonna get you, I am so gonna get you. Ah, oh, it's despawned. No. <laughs> oh, I ask you one thing, Salamence. Ah, oh, not again. Oh, well, we soldier on. Check this out. Just a wild Charizard J chilling. Look at the animation for that. It's amazing. Wow. That is so, so cool. Let's kill it. <laughs> good XP. It's good XP. So... A little cool thing that I just noticed, actually, um, which is what I wanted to show you, is um, I'm sure some people may know this already, but with the egg, if you actually summarize it here, it says it appears to move occasionally. It may be close to hatching, and I do actually believe that it's got a few cracks on the top of it, which weren't there when we first put them in, I think. I think. So that must mean that we are pretty damn close to hatching here. Um, so I don't think there's anything really else for me to do apart from just keep running around. I'm kind of just doing a bit of a sweep for bosses in this general area. I don't think we're going to get as lucky as finding another golden one at this episode anyway. How are these dudes doing? We've got some blue hearts going. And uh, yeah, they should probably pop, an pop, pop. They should probably pop another baby pretty soon. Um, but yeah, we're not... Oh! Oh no. <laughs> I thought that was the prompt for my egg. Ah! Yeah, I've been sausaged. I've been sausaged. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep running around here, basically. Hopefully, we might find another boss. Who knows? We really are going to have to get a lot more bosses if we want to have a go at trying to get this ranch upgrade, which is something I really do want to get. I believe it extends it to 15 by 15, which is a huge area, uh, which means I can, you know, it'd just be quite nice to have the bigger one, basically. Um, I'm not too sure what benefit that has. Maybe it's the case if you can actually stack in more blocks to it or something like that, but... Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm going to keep running around here, and then hopefully pretty soon, we should have ourselves our egg hatched. Oh, there we go, it has hatched, and oh my goodness. Check that out, so we actually have our first egg, and bizarrely, it's a level 1 Golduck. Ah, uh, okay, so I didn't realise that, so it could actually hatch into, like, secondary, and maybe even, like, third level evolutions because like there's no Psyduck there it's just a Golduck level one a level one Golduck wow okay so that is our first random ditto spawning I uh I, I'm kind of excited to see what kind of random things we'll get here um and yeah we haven't produced another babby just yet but we are madly in love um so yeah there you go our first uh, little go at breeding and we have managed to breed ourselves a level one gold duck which is really really random but hey why the heck not so i think that is going to be about it for today's episode so thank you once again for watching pretty cool one we managed to get ourselves a shiny um gyarados we've killed a load of bosses we've got some brand new items here like mystic waters flame Orb, which i'm still a little bit confused by um and uh, yeah we've managed to do our first breeding so if you can remember to poke me in that like button please give me a poke right now ah did you do it yes uh, yeah <laughs> thank you though really really helps out and also if you're not yet subscribed go for it because we do minecraft on fun but until next time thank you once again for watching it's been such a pleasure as always thanks Run, see ya.